hello creative minds welcome to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion up thank you for stopping by and thank you for always coming back to watch our videos in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make children boxers you can also call it children shorts okay so i already have my fabric folded in two i have two pieces of fabric here i'm going to be cutting both the front and the back the length is 13 inches while the width is 11.25 so if you if you cut out fabric that is two that is 11.25 by um 13 inches it will be enough for you to just make so the first thing i did was to mark two inches can you see that i have two pieces already i folded both for the front and the back okay i marked two inches first from the waistline can you see i have four pieces like that so i marked two inches on top like this and then i just rule it out so that's going to be my elastic case casing okay so once i was done marking two inches i just went ahead to rule it out so after that i marked eight inches for my crotch depth okay so you're going to start your marking from this marking from the first two inches you already marked earlier so you place your tape like so and then you're just going to go ahead and mark um your crotch measurement you can divide your hip by four to get your crotch depth okay after marking it i just connected my points together so i came to the waistline like so and then i marked eight inches it means you're going to be dividing your hip by four okay so the hip i'm working with divided by four is eight so i just went ahead to mark eight inches at the waistline and also eight inches at the crotch depth okay so after that i'm going to be extending my crotch by two my crotch extension i used two inches for it okay so i just went ahead to mark two inches and then i'm just going to go ahead and grab my ruler and connect my points together like you can see me do on the screen okay so after connecting i'm just going to connect that point together to meet my crotch extension okay so after connecting it together like so you're just going to come to the m line and then i'm marking eight inches so at that point you can divide the tie by by two and then mark your measurement at that point so i just marked eight inches and i went ahead to connect it together like so so guys please subscribe like this video hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel so after that i just went ahead to start cutting it out like so simple and very easy okay so once i was done cutting i told you earlier that i'm cutting for both the front and the back so i just went ahead to open it up so if you follow the process this is what you're going to get at the end of the day okay so now i'm aligning my fabric together right side facing right side and i'm just going to go ahead and, and join the crotch line like so so once i was done joining the crotch line by half an inch this is what i got okay so i just went ahead to open it up like so after that you're just going to go ahead and arrange it properly and then you're going to aim the lower part of the shirt i folded half an inch and folded another half an inch and i just went ahead to aim the shirt for both sides okay half an inch and then fold another half an inch okay so after aiming that part i'm just going to be doing that part together so i'm going to close the the crotch line like so i'm going to close it up the inseam i'm going to close it up and then remember the two inches we let while we're cutting i folded half an inch and then i'm going to fold 1.5 inch again making it two inches all together so i'll just take it to my sewing machine and aim it all the way around and then i'm going to leave two inches opening for me to be able to pass my elastic in inside that elastic case okay so for the elastic i used 18 inches how to get your elastic is to subtract four inches from your your waist measurement okay 
so when i was done i mean subtract four inches from your waist measurement i used the waist of 22 inches minus four i got 18 so when i was done this is the final look i got and then i also if you look closely i went ahead to top stitch on top of the elastic again so i have double lines there can you see the final look very easy and easy to make if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe my name is esther this is qs fashion Hub. don't stop planning keep planning bye